So welcome back to this quirky base builder. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. Oxygen Not Included is a game I played a few years back, but not really enough to get good at it. I understand it's gone through quite a few updates in the intervening time, and I'm doing this playthrough largely to find out what fun little nuggets the developers have added. I play O&I differently than just about anyone would advise. We've set all the difficulties to their highest setting, which is normal, but instead of picking a good set of complementary dupes with appropriate traits, we just use the first the game threw at us which sets us back a fair amount and will cause issues when their negative traits kick in more and more, but that just makes for a more interesting story. If I haven't lost you yet, sit back and enjoy some quirky, chill base building, or grab the seed from the first episode and play along. Okay, welcome back to the Contagious League, and we were in the middle of finishing up a few of the things that... Um, that we need to keep our base sustainable. But one of the first things I want to do here is several of you have mentioned that I need to be doing something with new blueprints here. And this is a new feature that I'm totally unfamiliar with. So I am printing out yellow cake wedge. Okay, interesting. That's a drywall color, I guess. And that's it. Is that it? Or are there more? Print. Do I have to... Yep, there's more. Okay, basic khaki gloves. They don't show dirt. Okay, that sounds useful, and I presume I make those, manufacture those somehow. And what else do we have here? A puffed Atmo suit, critter forward protective gear for the intrepid explorer. Okay, loyalty. Don't know what that means. Um, puffed Atmo suit. Okay, well... I'm not anywhere near the atmosphere yet, so I'm not too worried about that. What else do we have here? Didn't know it was going to quite take this long. Grand Prix bed? Okay, this, so this is a comfy bed. So maybe this is a variation of the standard comfy bed, where every duplicate wakes up a winner. Okay. My goodness, how many are there? How often do these things unlock, and what do you do to unlock them? Okay, Wheezy Whirl Planter Box for the Dreamy Agriculturalist. Okay, so that's a planter box. It's just blue. Can it only hold that, uh, that one type of seed, I wonder? Okay, what else do we have here? Bristly Green Planter Box. The interior is lined with tiny barbs. Okay, that's interesting. We could, we're actually using uh, bristleberries, so maybe that's something we can actually start using here. Okay, I didn't apologize for this. I didn't know it was going to take quite this long. Basic red pants. Pair, clean pair of red pants that go with everything. These are bottoms. I know there's a, uh, what's it called? Let me look it up here in the, uh, probably in the... Do we have it yet? I know I saw it before. Furniture, maybe? Stations, maybe? Yeah, crafting station. There we go. So maybe that is what allows me to make some of these cloth clothing items. Anyway, let's keep going here. We've got... That 
looks like a Rubik's Cube. Puzzle Cube Ceiling Light. Okay, so that's just a ceiling light. Somebody's feeling very disco-y, maybe. Okay. We have Elegant Retro Flower Pot, a funky white flower pot for plants on the move. For plants on the move, huh? Okay, that's interesting. Don't quite understand that, but there's quite a lot to this game I don't understand, so we'll figure it out eventually. Okay. La Belle Meep, a daring piece guaranteed to cause a stir. So that's a landscape canvas, okay. I don't think we have any Meeps in this in this current uh, this current uh, playthrough, do we? We do not. Okay, I better check and make sure nobody's dying here while I'm doing all this. Doesn't look like it. We're cleaning up the bathrooms here. I do want to make a new a new bathroom, maybe a priority, maybe for this episode even. Um, okay. Let's see here. We're up to 10,000 food, so I can keep doing this. Okay, we've got a sleep blue planter box. I think the thick paint drips are invisible from a distance. Okay. Sleet blue. That's for sleep wheat, I presume, or it's just designed based on sleet wheat. Sleet wheat. Okay, vertical cosmos contains multitudes, large sculpting block. Okay, all right, that's fine. We'll actually be definitely doing some large sculpting blocks in the not too distant future. Let's go ahead and do one more here, and then I'm going to go ahead and doesn't cure the blues so much as emphasize them. Okay, so that's more drywall. So, oh, all right. Before I keep going with those, because I had no idea it was going to take that long, I'm going to talk a little bit about this episode. So, um, I do want to uh, let's let's do this by looking at maybe the skills here. Okay, so we've got a scientist. We've got a, a scientist here. The scientist can also cover the operating until we get a primary operator or a machinist. So that this at least a, a machinist or an operator is not really a, a priority for us. Frankie the rancher can do the same thing with both ranching and farming. Joshua the doc can also do digging and, and uh, operating as well. In fact, he's more likely probably to become the operator before Ashkin because Ashkin is going to be very focused on researching. Nicola the chef, he can do the doctoring, but we've already got a doctor, so I'm going to have to figure out what this this guy is pretty, I don't want to call him worthless. I mean, he's one of our dupes and we love him, of course, but he's he's extremely untalented. And then we have Pay the Digger who can basically just help with some gopher activities, some some caring and, and supplying. So what we really need, obviously I would love to have a builder. Builder is a priority, although we can, everybody can build a little bit. So it's not like this is essential right now, but it would be nice to have somebody who can start, you know, building things faster since that's such a fundamental part of this game. Here's one that right now nobody can do and I don't want anybody to do until we get a specialist and that's the decorating. And really, in my experience, you want to wait until they get all the way up to Masterworks decorating before they start carving statues because that's when you get the highest decor bonuses. So this is somebody that I want to prioritize and that'll help make our base look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, which is important. I mean, we're not playing, we're playing on the highest difficulty settings, but we're not playing on the most difficult asteroid. I don't think our dan our, we're in imminent danger of dying. So we can start to look at some niceties like improving the looks of the base. And aesthetics are important, I think. Now, I think too many people, well, I don't want to pass any judgment, but a lot of people do play this game purely for the functionality, and that's not really how I play. Uh, pretty obvious from the way I've played up to this point. So I like kind of a combination of, yeah, you want things to be functional, but you also want things to be aesthetically pleasing. So decorator, highly important. And what that means is I've just decided the first decorator that comes along, the first dupe that gets offered to us who is interested in decorating, we're going to take them, regardless of whatever weaknesses and flaws and whatever other interests they have. And then that'll do it for now. The others we can worry about later. So really just the, uh, just the decorator is the highest priority at this point.
Okay, moving on then. So we've got this bathroom right here, but we want to start thinking about getting a better bathroom going. And I think this right here, this area is going to be the best place for that. So that's a big part of the reason why we've cleared this area out. And we'll go ahead and mop this up. Attribute increase, Joshua the Doc got a little bit of strength. That's good. I'll speed things up here in a minute, but first of all, what I want to do is get folks started on a better bathroom. So what that means is we're going to go ahead and right here, start building out another level. It's going to probably go a little bit further than that uh, uh, eventually. It doesn't need to right away. But what we really need here are the... Where are they? We need the sinks. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three sinks and then I'm going to leave a space for some decoration. And then we're going to go ahead and do the laboratories here. Now, there's a limit to just how, how nice you can get the decor in a place like this. I'm going to go ahead and dig this out because if we accidentally build this we could end up accidentally trapping Ashkin or anybody who's down here. Oh, well, that's convenient. Now it's starting to, to drain down. Well, we want it to. I was only doing the mopping because it looked like it wasn't going to. All right, so anyway, that'll be good. We'll go ahead and... and uh, This is going to end up being... Oh, I, no, I built this on the wrong... That right there is on the, the wrong level. We want that we want no we don't i built everything on the wrong level nice going very nice going okay let me cancel all of this all of this and start this all over again we want this to be on this level i'm going to just go start over this way because we don't now we're going to end up blocking Ashkin or anybody else from doing the mopping. You know what? We can we can make this a little bit easier. Dig all that out, and then we don't have to worry about getting trapped in the mopping. Okay. Joshua the Doc. All right, now let's go ahead and finish off our blueprints here. I'll finish setting up the uh, the new bathroom when we get back. Okay, Glossy Glee, a tree, happy little trio of inflatable critters. Balloon art, oh, okay. So I know some of the dupes can have this balloon artist. Is this just an additional decoration that they do? Probably. Okay. Wow, my goodness. I wonder, did I unlock all of these from the, from? does it like remember having played games from years ago? And it's unlocking all of the ones that I had unlocked from that. A juicy strawberry scented bunch of balloons. Okay. Well, in case that is the case and there's like hundreds of them, I'm not going to keep doing them on camera. I will do them off camera. And uh, if any of them are exciting, then we'll definitely make some use of them. So let's go ahead and speed. Oh, 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 we have no power. That's because I was trying to be efficient by not having this generator running 24 seven. Okay, we got some meat. And so the meat, we want barbecue to happen forever. And we wanna make sure from a consumable standpoint, we're not eating meat. So that's good. I'm, I didn't set anybody to kill a hatch. So I'm assuming that a hatch might've died of old age. Probably. Okay, so we're, we're back to running here. That's good. Let's go ahead and try out just a few more of these uh, food planter box. Okay, so yeah, so we have different kinds of planter boxes now. Interesting. Do they all require the same 100 dirt? Looks like it. Okay, so it's just variations. Well, none of them are perfectly appropriate for the uh, for the meal wood. But I'm going to go ahead and build those three anyway, just to see them, just to be able to start using some blueprints for a change. 
Maybe we'll even get a colony achievement for it or something like that. Another attribute increase. Okay. And then we do want... We want this to be built. How are we doing over here? Okay, so we're done with the mopping now. I'm going to go ahead and... X those out because what we really want to do... is start building our... What's it, it's called a laboratory. It's called a... It's called... Oh, no, it's called a washroom. This is a latrine that we've got right now. Okay. All right. We still have insufficient oxygen generation um, of a fairly significant amount, actually. So we should probably rectify that. We are going to get a little bit more uh, ox oxylite here. Just a little bit more down here. Obviously, that's not going to be enough. Let's go ahead and, for the time being, let's just put one... Put one right there for now. We got another attribute increase. That's always good. Athletics. Barbecue. Yeah, we want to make sure the barbecue does go up here. Clear that. And then... Somebody's starving. And then they stopped starving by the time I clicked on it. Okay. Um, Another attribute increase. More athletics. So that's good. The more they run around, and that's Ashkin. Yeah, that's good. So he's now only at minus 30%. It won't be too much longer before he's almost moving at normal dupe speed. Okay. Well, it will be it will be a little while longer. I kind of exaggerate there. Okay, so they have finished destroying that the, that part of the ladder. Now let me see if I can do this correctly this time. So this is going to be the bathroom. We're not using any, any of these. So let's go ahead and cancel this. I will figure out a different place now for the, uh, for the storage. In fact, how about up here? I want to have some storage that is still in the the uh, cold zone. Let's go ahead and get rid of that ladder. We're not going to need it before we have a, a sec an, another way to get up there. Let's go ahead and finish doing what we had started here with our washroom. So we've got three sinks. One, two, three. Then we're going to leave a space for a, uh, probably for a statue. And that now we want laboratory. One, two, three. I may do the back wall right here, but I probably won't. Uh, if it's, if there's enough room to, I may put another sculpted statue right there. And let's go ahead and dig out all of that. Do we have, we don't have this. Okay, so we, at this point, I'd better stop giving new orders because they still haven't done lots of things from last time. And that's even when we're not doing any research. So they're definitely lagging behind here in terms of the, the work that we want to get done. We'll go ahead and continue with the meal wood. We're up to 20,000, so that's really nice. I do plan to start replacing the meal wood with uh, bristle, bristle berries, bristle blossoms, excuse me, um, like right here. But once, what we're actually going to do once we have this finished down here and this is about ready, we're going to go ahead and start pumping some water up and it will automatically feed into these hydroponic floor tiles right there so we can actually plant the seeds directly into the floor and actually we need to hurry this up because they've been dug out but, but well no they haven't been dug out 
I'm not. Oh, I, I was getting the error message there, thinking that they were sitting on an invalid floor, but that's not what it was for. That, that's okay. So now, never mind, guys. Let's uh, let's not prioritize these after all. Or this one. Not yet. Anyway. Okay. And what are they spending all their time doing? I'm gonna have to just watch them here for a minute to see why nobody is having any time for anything. There's no research selected. Okay, so we finally are getting a little bit done up here. We don't want to actually assign any liquids to this yet because we don't have the pit uh, working. So actually, just to make sure I don't accidentally make a mistake here, I'm going to... Oops, not the auto repair. I'm going to disable that building for now. But this will be our polluted water drop-off once this is ready to start being our polluted water reservoir. Which is obviously not just yet. Okay. Now we're finally starting to do a little bit of digging. Looks like we're going to have to give ourselves a little bit more scaffolding here just to be able to reach those up there. That's fine. In fact, let's go ahead and make this all nice and like if we just do yeah, if we just do that now. Now we can go ahead and just dig everything out because it's the scaffolding will allow us to reach everything. All right. So where's our time going? Of course, Nicole the chef is going to be spending all of his time cooking for the for the time being. That's fine. And Ashkin. Oh wait a minute, Ashkin is not the super slow one, is he? Which one is super slow? Well, hang on. Let's check our blueprints. Okay, we got building, which would be nice. Although I don't. I don't like Yokel because that means later on he can't get the suit wearing ability. We don't really need more blossom seeds, I don't think. Do we want to do this? Would we want to do one of these two? We don't need another rancher. We've already got somebody assigned to it. This is a better cook, would have been a way better cook probably, except for the fact, well, you know what? Lyra here also has decreased athletics. I certainly would like to not have another dupe with that. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and take nails because we are falling behind in the category of getting stuff done. So that'll be nice. Nails, you are now going to be our new builder. And you're pretty good at it. And I'm going to pause here for a second. Let's go ahead and give you the improved construction. Give you the, the nice hat, of course. Then we want to take a look here at the schedule. We don't want you on that schedule because that means that, I mean, that's about all ready to hit the daytime. So we've already got three on this schedule right here. So it's time to go ahead and add a new schedule. So I'm going to just call this, let's call this um, night shift. plus two. And the reason I'm calling it that is because we're just going to take all of the night shift time slots here and move them up to. So two from there, two from here. Bath time is going to go right here, but I'm going to wait us just a second for the, there we go, for it to get out of that square. And now we want nails, nails here, and let's go ahead and maybe put, let's get two, two, and two. So we'll go ahead and put, um, don't guess it really makes any difference. Let's go ahead and put Nicole the chef on there as well. Okay, now we're going to start... Oh, and of course, uh, priorities. Priorities are one of the most important things. It does appear that, I guess, excavation skill is what is what attacking is based on. So let's do this. Let's, let's make it low for everybody except those are pretty, who are pretty good at it. So obviously pay the diggers good at it. And 
is that all for now? I think that's all for now. That's fine. And uh, I can't think there's any anything that we imminently need to kill so quickly that that we need to have multiple dupes do the job. So now we can go to where is he nails the the builder. Obviously, we want him to prioritize building, and that's all. That's fine. Okay, there's always going to be plenty of building to do. Finally, there we go. We're getting our second, or not our second, our next oxygen diffuser up. We can go ahead and get... Other mealwood planter boxes here operating. Yeah, look at how quickly he's gonna he's gonna blast through building these tiles. He is unfortunately sopping wet now. He's he came in with the highest stress because they start out with with some stress already. And the fact that he's soaking wet is going to mean that he's going to, his stress is going to become more of a concern. But that's no problem because at some point here, we will actually start to address their stress issues with some massage tables. Not quite ready for that just yet. Want to get the, uh, you know what, let me do this and that. That'll be a little bit more efficient for getting in and out from under here. I don't... I don't understand why dupes so often insist on going underneath to build things when it sure seems like it would be faster for them to just go across, but it is what it is. This is a uh, an oxifern seed, and I, at some point I would like to actually get this planted, but I don't remember. So it needs carbon dioxide and exudes... Okay, and its growth, it needs... Just dirt and water in a farm plot. It needs to be a temperature from 0 to 40. Well, all of that seems to me like we could put that down here, right? If we were to put a... Let's see. this. We want this to be a farm plot. So that would mean a planter box presumably would do it, right? Let's find out. So let's do this as a, we'll do this one in green. Oh, I didn't even need to build that ladder. Oh well. It did say farm plot, right? Farm plot, yeah, okay. And it needs dirt and water, atmosphere, carbon dioxide, air pressure 25 grams, temperature zero. Yeah, okay, so. Zero to 40, I just wanted to check this out. Yeah, we're definitely in that range down here, so... We'll get that planted, and then it'll start to actually consume... Oh, hypothermia, that's going to probably be build our new builder. Nails the, the builder, right? Yep, it's from being sopping wet in cold water. That's going to happen. It's okay. It's all right, Nails. We'll... We'll, uh, we'll get you, actually, once you finish up building this bottom right here, you don't have to worry about going down into the water again anytime soon. If he does go a little bit nuts, that'll be fun. We'll get to see what it's like when, uh, when a dupe, uh, goes crazy. Where'd he go? Oh, is it his dinner time already? It is, okay. Well, maybe somebody else will do this. Uh, we'll, we'll do this down here. And we'll go ahead and do that. And... Oh, do we have the... Yep, okay, here we go. So can we plant the oxy fern down here? There it is. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and make that a six. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'll start uh, consuming a little bit of the carbon dioxide. You know, it's it's not going to consume a ton, but it's certainly better than nothing. 
And meanwhile, there's really, there's no, as long as we don't hit the slime over here, there's no reason why we couldn't dig out a little bit more down here just to give us a little bit more space for the, uh, for the carbon dioxide to pull up. There we go. It's using carbon dioxide and it's emitting oxygen. Very nice. We can actually see a little bit of it right there already. Okay. Doesn't hurt. And let's go ahead and prioritize this and maybe somebody else can do this before before Nails wakes up. And then we have Nicole the Chef, Cuisine. Okay, that's good. Yes, that's definitely good. Our food situation is looking fine, even though we're now up to six dupes. I think we can handle it. It's nighttime. Did anybody... Look who it is. It's Nails the Digger, or the, the Builder. Oh, well. Sorry about that, Nails. That'll be the last time you have to go into the water for a while, I promise. Okay. And so what we want to do, we've got... We've got this set up right now to be sort of our combination. Oh, that's right. Somebody, somebody mentioned this and it was actually reminding me that... Because it's something I wanted to do anyway. I'll put up some, some ceiling lights up here. And get this place lit up so that folks who are down here are more efficient. And then we're going to also go ahead. See, this is this is not a currently a room, so that's why we can kind of jumble everything together because there's no there's no morale bonuses to be gained from either researching or um, or cooking. As far as I know, there is a kitchen enables spice grinder use. Okay, well, I stand corrected, but I'm not... I don't think I've unlocked a spice grinder yet, and we don't have any spices to grind, even if I did. But that is certainly something we'll want to set up for a little bit later. But for now, what we're going to do... We might want to maybe move some of this around in the future. But for now, we're going to go ahead and make a room right here we don't need this ladder anymore Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking? We're doing okay. We're doing all right. Do still really want a decorator, though. And we need to get this... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and prior prioritize this. And then... So this is down here. This is built. Let's go ahead and get a liquid pump down here. Let's go ahead and start laying out our plumbing. So we want our plumbing. Now I know I could have gone straight across there, but I just find it more aesthetically pleasing to go down into the floor first and then up and over. We want the pump, the plumbing pipes to follow the tiles so that they're not visible as much as possible. And we are definitely gonna to want to send them across to here. Now, so here's one area where they will be visible. That really can't be helped for right now, but we might be able to fix that later. But we want the water to be able to come across into these hydroponic tiles over here. And then we're also going to want plumbing to go all the way up here. Let's see which which is the inflow and which is the outflow? I think green is outflow. And so if I do this, if I look at this, the... Don't remember now which is... I'm, okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it is. We'll find out. 
if it doesn't work. Okay, so we want to go ahead and get our pipes running like this. So there's going to be water that flows all the way up to here into each of these sinks and each of these laboratories and then from the sinks and laboratories up into the ceiling here where we're going to run more pipes over like this. Oops, kind of screwed that up. Cancel that and that. Let's go back to plumbing pipe. Okay, over to here. I think what we're going to do, let's, at some point we'll go ahead and build... Love that. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Gonna build across like this, and then we're going to put a liquid vent right there, and that's where it's all going to come out, and it's going to pour down here into our reservoir for polluted water. Now, what that means is to be able to, to dig all this up and, and build this stuff, we need now to actually... Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and dig up all of this to give ourselves access to this area. I'm gonna go ahead and dig that because it's sand and that as well because it's sand. But we don't wanna make all of this wide open because we'll lose the benefit of our great hall here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and enclose the great hall like this. And that means going ahead and digging up all of this over here for now. Go ahead and dig up that copper while you're at it. Okay. Now I've get, I've issued way more way more commands than what they have time for. So I'd better sit back and wait and watch for a few minutes here. We've been doing this all at uh, sort of fast forward speed. But it, I don't think it's gotten too too far ahead of us. I think we're we're keeping up. We have some igneous rock here, which is fine. Um, yeah, they're making some progress. It does certainly does look like they make more progress when we go at fast forward. So, so that's a good thing, I suppose. We want to set the direction to the right, and what that means then we want copy settings here. Boom and boom. There's no priorities to set here because these do not have to manually be cleaned, which is what makes them so much nicer than the wash basins and the outhouses. So this just means that if they have germs on their hands when they're moving in this direction, they will have to stop and use the sink. That's exactly what we want because they will have germs on their hands after using the laboratory. And the agriculture skill of Ashkin has gone up. That's fine. We uh, we will eventually get somebody who's a little bit more of a dedicated farmer, but for now, everybody's kind of helping out with that. And Nails, his stress is now slowly coming back down again, so that's good. All right. If we can finish the washroom and our polluted water reservoir and get get the plumbing all functioning this episode that'll be good that's a good accomplishment for for me for this episode and we got our at least one of our lights up and running here so that's good yeah we're making some progress now pretty soon i'm going to feel comfortable going ahead and starting to do some more research again Incidentally, is this all? Yes, yeah, so this is already considered a washroom. So this is morale plus two as opposed to this latrine, which is only morale plus one. This is still a great hall, so that's plus six. I know somebody um, advocated for making a nature preserve um, out of some of the, you know, some of the wildly growing plants. The problem with that for me is that I'm not. Okay, why is somebody starving? They were just in the middle of something, I guess. They were probably catching their breath, maybe. Anyway, oh, they they were down here digging, I'll bet. We should have made this accessible from this side. That's on me. That's my fault. 
Okay. Um, although that, this is going to have to be done from the water anyway. And unfortunately, I have a feeling it's going to be Nails who goes down to do that. But there's no reason to make everybody go into the water to, for these pipes right here. So anyway, so the nature re uh, nature reserve or preserve, I forget what it's called. Let's go ahead and check our blueprint. Or yeah, okay. Still no decorator. That's that's a little. Well, that's not frustrating. It'll it'll come soon enough. Another rancher. We've had lots of ranchers thrown at us. Noodle arms is t absolutely terrible. You do not want noodle arms. Um, watch us get our decorator with noodle arms. Okay. Um, we have, uh, see, this is, this is like unempathetic decreased medicine. This is the kind of flaw in a dupe that is just really easy to work around because all you do is just make sure that he's not your doctor. Um, and he's good at uh, farming and building. So this, so auto here would be good, but I'm not going to take him yet because I know I need another decorator and I don't want to get too many dupes until I know we can, the base can sustain it. And then building and digging here with all kinds of different problems. So we're not going to take any of these dupes. We're just going to take the bristleberries. Yeah, so the, the problem for me is, you know, I want to be building all of our functionally useful stuff in, in the cold area, in the starting biome here. And I just don't really know the game well enough to know, to be able to think ahead to where's a good place to have... A nature preserve because when you do that like maybe over here but the problem with that is nobody's ever going to have a reason to come over here the, the the value of it is that they do get a really nice morale bonus for going through it the problem with it is that you can't really do anything with that space so a nature where is it there's a park and then there's a nature reserve okay so you need a park sign which I I think we may have unlocked already. You need four wild plants and no industrial machinery. But it just means, I guess maybe you could put up, no, you can't have any machinery. So I don't know, there, there's just not a lot you can do in a nature reserve. It's good to have it in like a corridor that they're moving through, but I don't know where we would have done that as a, as a convenient corridor that they're moving through all the time, that's not valuable real estate where we wouldn't have, would have wanted to put other things. So that may came, come across as a lame, uh, lame excuse. And I do appreciate that. I do think when I get better with the game, I, uh, I will definitely be able to, to see the value in setting up a nature reserve, but I'm just not there yet. Now we want to do this and we want to start to consider this massage clinic so this is a, a one decor item and at least one massage table so what i think i'm going to do is two massage tables i'm not going to build these yet actually you know what i can do is i can make them a low priority put two massage tables in and a decor item which can just be a i'm going to pause it for a second here because ash can earn a skill point we can go ahead and put a flower pot in with them. Maybe I'll leave enough room for a third massage table at some point in the future. And then we will go ahead and close it in so that it is of the appropriate size. It can only be 12 tiles through 64 tiles. Well, that's clearly in between, so that's good. We just want to prioritize all of this to four for now. So that's fine. Um, we don't want them working on this just yet. And then Ashkin the scientist here. Astronomy. Very nice. So he's already filled out the, the science, the researching line here. So that's very good. Very good. And we're not really running into any morale issues yet. But you can, for those of you who are new to the game, you can see right here, this keeps track of the amount of morale that you have and the amount of skill points or not skill points total but like the amount of of morale that your current level of skills demands and when you start giving one dupe too much in the way of skills in particular these higher level skills then all of a sudden they can really start to run into morale issues so enough said about that let's go ahead and let's prioritize this 
that flower pot. Did I have other options on the flower pot? I did. Let's let's cancel this flower pot because what we want is to try out our what is, what is this called? Elegant retro flower pot. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get one more planter box set up here. Although we're doing just fine on food. I had some concerns a little bit earlier, I think maybe two episodes ago, that we were really pushing our luck with the, uh, the food situation. But I think we pretty much pushed the limit without actually really starting to see lots of problems with starvation. We do need this ceiling to be finished, which also means digging out those. And, and we've got, okay, now we can go ahead and prioritize these over here as well. So let's get all those built. These are at 50%. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to finish growing. And then when they're harvested... Then I'm going to destroy the the planter boxes and put the, the, the seeds instead down into the row of hydroponic tiles there. And do we have, we've got this built, so we're all ready now for the polluted water. So we can do this, polluted water. We want to do that on a priority of six. We don't want polluted water sitting around any longer than necessary. And then one more thing that we're going to want to do. We can't do it yet. I need to research it. Okay. All right. Glad I thought of this. We need some... What are they called? They're going to be down here in the, in the gas section, I think. These things. Deodorizers. We're going to need some deo, uh, deodorizers for when once we start accumulating polluted water down here. The polluted water will start to evaporate into polluted oxygen and the polluted oxygen we want to go through our deodorizers and become regular oxygen. So what we're going to do is let's let's do this. If they get dug up right away, that's can okay, that's good. And we want to replace, uh, we don't have, we also need, oh no, they're right there, airflow tiles. Why did I not see airflow tile? Does that go under oxygen? Base? Ask can the scientist, got a science raise, that's good. Oh, I'm doing this right now. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize I hadn't started any of this. Okay. Yeah, so when we get through pressure management, that'll be good. We'll get this airflow tile. And then we'll put the airflow tiles right here, which will allow the polluted oxygen to come up. And then we'll have our deodorizers on top of that. And you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to change this up a little bit. This is, this is quite inefficient of me. There we go. Well, he's he's burning through the the research pretty quickly now, so that's good. We actually are going to want the the uh, the oxygen to come up this way and not come up through this this one right here. So we want to actually have this blocked. We're going to relocate our ladder to over here. And then we're going to put the airflow tiles with the deodorizers on them. Oh, no, that's not going to work. This is going to have to go back to being... This has to be a mesh tile. Still, that's fine. That'll work just fine. We'll have one mesh tile so that the water can drip down through, both from this right here, which we can now enable, and uh, from the liquid vent here. You 
can already see the uh, polluted oxygen is starting to bubble up. And the reason we set this up right here for now is because these wash basins are here, which is important because we... Oh, wow, we already got the airflow tile. Very good. When, when doing all this dirty work over here, they're going to have germs on their hands, and we want them to, to be forced into uh, cleaning their hands on the way out. So we want no other access to this area other than through right here for now. And pay the digger excavation skills up. That's great. I'm going to go ahead now and deconstruct that because we don't need it. This can be opened permanently. Okay. Progress. Slow and steady progress. I think I will call it an episode then when he finishes his research and we're allowed to build our deodorizers up here. And we still have this now as a great hall, so that's good. We do need, we have some cleanup that we need to do, and in particular, we really don't want this hatch. Actually, multiple hatches walking around in a place that has food laying on the floor, because they'll eat our food. And we definitely don't want that. With a little luck, once we open this door up, they'll actually migrate out here, and then we can close the door temporarily so they don't... They don't stay in, in there. And somebody needs to fix this outhouse. Although, kind of assuming this is now a fully functioning lab, uh, washroom over here. I haven't even been watching. Nicole the chef. Okay, so now I'm not going to make him a digger. I realize he's got the super duper hard digging, but um, he's not a good candidate for that. We already have a digger. So what I generally do, and please, those of you who are better than I at this game, please feel free to tell me if this is a mistake, but I usually figure, okay, well, a little bit of extra strength is good for everybody. So I usually give them level one of improved carrying and then later on improved strength down there. And who is starving here? Oh, he was only starving because he was using the outhouse. Not sure why they're not using this over here now. But they're clearly not. So after he's done, I'm actually going to disable this building. And when this is clean, I'm going to disable that one as well. And see if they start using that. How are we doing on research? Our researcher is probably in bed. Yes, he is. Okay. And uh, Nails' stress is down to 10%, so that's good. And Nails just decided to take a nap right there for some reason. Does he have narcolepsy? Is he the one who has it? He does not. Why? Does he not have a bed? Oh, I did. I don't have enough beds for everybody. My goodness. All right. Well, that is on me. I am so sorry for that, Nails. I'm sure there have been people screaming at me. Build him a bed, you stupid idiot. Okay. Yeah, we will definitely do that. That's a, that's a, a big oversight, but that's fine. That, that'll be the last time he has to sleep on the floor like that. And it shouldn't take very long. And he'll probably end up building his own cot himself. Or not. Nope, okay. Too many other things to do, I guess. See, he's going to have the, what is it, the sore back. And the sore back just reduces his athletics by one. It's not the worst thing in the world, but obviously you don't want it. Um, 
And that's because he slept on the hard ground instead of in a nice cot. Now, oh, there we go. Or not. He's still not building it. He will. I have faith in him. Okay, so now we want to actually disable this one as well, because we want to find out if people are going to start using the, uh, the actual washroom here. They have no choice now. Toilet out of order. Well, Frankie the... Well, why don't you use the fully functioning ones? Because they don't have water. That's why. Because I don't have... I don't have the pump down here built yet. I do have the pump. Oh, it doesn't have... Okay, well done. Well done, Michael. All right. Yes. It does... It does require some actual electricity to run. And that is all a priority. Very high priority. Then we can go ahead and build that. Okay. All right, so two really quite minor problems there. Not going to get too upset about that. I'm going to go ahead and split him up between ranching because he can now do the essential ranching task. Um, but we want, we want to start having a little bit better farming going on as well. So he can do both. And let me just make sure his priorities are to do both. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, yeah, so next episode, what we're going to need to do is start setting up our ranch our, excuse me, our hatch ranches. But for now, let's go ahead and get this door back onto Aldo to keep them from wandering back in there. Well, too late. Never mind. Cancel that. Okay. Yeah, let's get, let's get all this done ASAP. Where's he going? Just picking up some copper, okay. How much copper do we have? Seven tons, that's, that's fine for now. Attribute increase, we got, uh, Nails has got some athletics. There we go, okay, good. Now we got our deodorizers. So we can go ahead and, I guess I don't need to pause for this. Let's go ahead and set up our deodorizers. I think I saw a message that these now require electricity. They do, okay. Good to know. Let's go ahead and run this up here like this then. Probably don't need three of them, that's probably overkill, but I really don't like a lot of polluted oxygen. Pay the digger. There you go, all right. Looking good, super duper hard digging. Let's go ahead and watch the pumping in action here. Now we've got water flowing. Excellent. And it's gonna flow all the way up here. Now we can deactivate, disable these outhouses. We're gonna have the water flowing into our lovely new Washroom. I just want to make sure this is the correct intake. And it is. Okay, very good. All right. So now these these sinks and laboratories are functional. Still have a problem with our oxygen. We'll, we'll correct that in the next episode. But for now, I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and get these these tiles built so they don't get trapped over there and that's all I mean they can finish it next episode we've gone ahead and laid out the the floor plan for everything so I th okay I think that's good let's go ahead and set this up for another meal wood these guys are at 88% when they get to 100 and we harvest them I'm going to delete these planter boxes and replace the move the seeds down into these uh these floor tiles, these hydroponic tiles. I'm gonna get rid of this oxygen diffuser and move it over to maybe here. 
oxygen diffuser. Eventually we will start making oxygen from other sources, but while we have the algae, there's really no reason not to keep using them. And okay, I think that is, we're coming up on an hour anyway, so that is a good place to go ahead and take a break on this one. And thank you all for watching and for your patience, as I know many of you are far better players at this than I am, but at least I'm enjoying it. And it's, uh, it's really nice to get back into it. Some things are coming back to me at last. So uh, once more, thanks for the comments, and I will see you all in the next episode.